Let's do some warm ups and some balance. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, hips open, shoulders back and down, and get that core connected. So ribs toward your spine up, lifting through the spine up through the crown. And just relax your arms and breathe. Exhale any tension. Feel that connection down into the earth. And as you breathe, bring your arms up to shoulder level, but keep the shoulders down. Hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and exhale the hands behind you. Press them down and lift your heart, stretch your head back, and then pivot over. Just deepen as much as you'd like, spreading your to toes. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> spreading your toes, hands up toward the ceiling. Move your chin around. And then bend your knees and work your way back into the upper body back bend. Lift your heart, stretch your head back and take a few breaths. And inhaling, come upright, release your arms, and take a moment just feeling your spine. And again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, and clasp the hands the opposite way behind you. Once more, lift the heart, stretch into the back bend, and pivot over as you exhale. Deepen as much as your back wants today. Get a good stretch on the whole length of your spine. And then work your way all the way back up. And again, an upper body back bend as you get to the top, stretching through the whole body. Toes spreading and lengthening through the spine. Inhale up. Release your arms, take a moment, feel your body, and get ready for our side stretches. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands overhead, and clasp. Bring your arms next to your ears, shoulders down, sitting bones down, and lean, no twist, over to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from, and reach out through your head and your hands. Feel the ribs stretch apart. Inhale back up, keep the shoulders down and switch the other hand to the front. And arms by your ears, stretch it out, lean to the side. And again, maximize for your body on this side as much as you'd like, no leaning forward. And feel the ribs open. And then inhale up, and release. And feel the sides a little bit more stimulated along with the spine. And then open your spine for our twist. Arms at shoulder level, palms up, hands over your shoulders, clasping your elbows. Spread your toes, keep the weight on both feet, stretch up and turn to one side. Take a breath, pivot over as you exhale. Deepen as much as you'd like, keeping the weight on both feet and your arms next to your ears. And then inhale, staying in the twist, coming up and lift your heart. So upper body only in the back bend <clears throat> and stretch out through your elbows. Inhale up, exhale around to the center, switching your arms around and balancing your body. Stretch it open for the spine and turn to the other side. Take a breath, pivot over. And just deepen as much on this side as your body would like, keeping the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Inhale, working your way back up. And again, upper body back bend only in your twist. So chest high, shoulders down. <clears throat> Take a moment, breathing, stretching back through the elbows. Inhale up, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, fingertips rising to stretch, and then swan dive forward. Just pivot on over 
Stretch everything straight and then drop into ragdoll, just hanging as deeply as your body wants. Sitting bones lifting, stretching your legs. Pull in deeper for more if you love it. And then arms to the front as you slowly wind to standing. And again, in mountain pose, just take a moment, feeling that spine activated. And let's do our balance warm up. <clears throat> Lift your toes, get the ball of the foot all the way across. So from the big toe to the little toe, that ball of the foot area comes down. Spread your toes, no gripping, and get the heel evenly also connected. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up and core active. So keep those ribs toward your spine and up, getting that low back supported. Bring the other foot up a little or more or toward your heart. And again, pull the leg in as much as you'd like or leave it low and work your ankle. Both ways. And release. Connect into that opposite foot. And again, make sure that the toes aren't gripping. If they grip, then you lose some of that base of the toe support. Lengthen up through the spine, keeping that core active and connected, shoulders back and down, bringing the other leg up. And again, only as high as it feels good for you, and work your ankle. Get it circling. And release. And as you get back into both feet, just sink evenly. And let's, let's bring the arms out to shoulder level. Palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. And stretch up. And then putting the weight into one foot, get grounded and center. And start lifting the other foot, bringing the body slightly over to the side. So kind of X shape. Press out through the heel, out through the fingertips, down into the foot. And then rotate back upright and sink into the opposite foot. Keep the core connected, keep everything straight, just like before, bring the foot over, angling out into that X shape. And again, just get into your grounded foot as much as you can. Take a breath. And again, coming back upright. Arms out and back down into mountain pose. Take a moment, feel what's going on. Spread your toes and lengthen through your spine. Okay. Exhale, tension. Lift your toes, spread your base of your toes, and spread out the toes without gripping. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, core active, supporting your spine, shoulders back and down, and crown to the ceiling. Take a moment, getting connected, and turn your heel into your arch. Knee going out to the side as much as it can. Sink into that foot, slide the heel up a little, or more to your thigh or across in front of your thigh for a little more stability. Take a moment there, getting your hands to prayer position, staying there if that's where you need to be. Take a breath, sink into your foot. Inhale, hands straight up or out at shoulder level and come into your tree. Take a moment there, stabilizing, spreading the toes, reaching the head up. And then hands to your heart, knee to the front, and foot to the floor. Exhale into mountain pose. Take a moment to release all that balanced stress. And of course, we're going to balance the balance pose and do our other side. So again, lifting your toes on that opposite foot, get the base of the toes connected. Again, spread out through the toes, no gripping, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, and everything aligned. 
Core active, make sure that spine is supported with the sitting bones down and shoulder blades down. Shoulders away from your ears. Sink into that foot, up through the crown. Turn your foot the other side, all the way out. Keep that knee going as much toward the direction of the toes as possible. And again, slide up a little or more. Remember, not to your knee, all the way up to your thigh or to your foot. If you're ready, bring your hands up and out to shoulder level. Stretch it out, breathe. And again, releasing your hands, knee to the front and foot to the floor. Release into mountain pose. Take a moment, breathing out all that balanced stress and coming into focus inwardly. We're gonna do one more balance practice. This is a two-footed balance. Don't let it fool you. We're gonna to go to a wall and just stand just slightly in front of the wall in mountain pose. Take a moment there, getting centered and grounded. Exhale any stress or tension. Sink into your balance foot just as we always do, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, core active, shoulders back and down. And just remember, you have one less dimension to worry about with that wall behind you. So just reach the crown to the ceiling. And then take your other foot and put it right in front of the big toe and the second toe and get the weight into both feet evenly. So again, coming into that position, just evenly moving your feet around till you find that perfection of balance. Spread those toes out, get comfortable, sitting bones down, crown to the ceiling, spread those toes out, and make sure that that crown is reaching up, core active, and don't forget to breathe. So find your stability. If it's challenging already with your eyes open, don't go any further. You can bring your hands to your heart or you can keep them out to the sides for a little bit more stability work as you're there. And if you get into a comfortable balanced position with the two feet, one in front of the other, you can go ahead and close your eyes. But remember, it's much more challenging with your eyes shut so don't go there if that's not where you're ready to go. And then exhaling, release back into your mountain pose. So we can do the other side. Take a breath. Exhale any tension. Again, aligning the ankle, knee, hip, shoulder. Getting the core active. Shoulder, shoulder blades back and down. And the ground to the ceiling. Keep that foot supporting you with the toes not gripping. And then again, you can watch as you bring your foot in front of the other, finding your stability there when you can. And again, as you get into your position, finding that stability, just sink evenly into both feet, spreading the toes, keeping the eyes just sort of defocused out there in front of you making sure that you've got some stable focus. And if you get to the point where you're comfortable, you can bring your hands to your heart or keep them out for that challenging balance practice. Stay there, or again, if you're feeling really stable and clever, <laughs> you can close your eyes if that works for you today. Take a moment, notice how challenging it is. Don't forget to breathe. And then again, opening your eyes, releasing your hands, and stepping back into mountain pose. Exhale all that tension. And come back to your mat. So exhale all that balance stress. As you inhale, bring your hands toward the ceiling. A nice back bend. And then swan dive again forward over into ragdoll. Hands up under your knees on the halfway up stretch. And release down, chin toward your chest. Stretch the back of your leg. 
And again, hands together coming up. As you reach toward the ceiling, lift your heart, pull those thumbs back, looking at them in your back bend, and then separating your hands, swan dive all the way over, and again into rectal. Hands up under the knees, stretch and straighten, spread your toes, bend your knees, and come all the way down to child pose. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead to the floor. Take a breath. Just relax. Shoulders down. And as you get into that stretch, just feel that whole back of your body. And then inhale, bring the hands out to the front, knees under your hips, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. And remember, you can pad if you need to under the heel of your palms. Or you can put the fists down with no bend in your wrist. We're going to do one more balance practice sequence in our table position. So get everything lined up, evenly weighted into your hands and knees. And then bring the right foot out up to hip level. Reach out through the ball of the foot. Keep the hips facing the floor, shoulders even and bring the opposite arm, so left arm out next to your ear. Reach out through the fingertips and the toes. Get everything as straight as you can, and don't forget to breathe. And then bring your hand down and your knee back in place. Circle that wrist and get ready to do our other side. So again, keep that core activated, supporting your low back as you stretch the sitting bones and crown apart. And bring the left foot out and up to hip level. And again, stretch out through the base of the toes, like as nice and straight as you can make it. And bring that right arm next to your ear. Stretch it out, lengthening, breathing into it. And bringing your hand down and your knee back to the mat, circling the wrist. Again, get into your cat position, table position, and stretch the sitting bones and crown apart. And we'll do one more twist. So bring your left hand slightly to the left and bring your right leg out and up. And we're going to bring the body facing the side of your mat with your hand on your hip. So the leg is about hip level. The hand is under your shoulder that's on the floor. And then the other one goes up right above it toward the ceiling. Stretch the arms apart, the head and foot apart. And keep your body as straight toward the side as you can. Exhale, bringing your hand back down. And turn your knee down and bring the hand in, coming into table once more. Circle the wrist if you need to. Remember, always personal practice. And then bring your right hand over to the side slightly. And again, we're going to extend the left leg up to hip level and bring it back straight from the hip with the hand, left hand on your hip. Face the side of the mat, stretch the head and foot away from each other, and bring the hand right above your opposite arm, if that's working for you on this one. Stretch it out, find your balance, and then exhaling, hand to the floor, and knee down to the mat, hand coming in, coming into table position. And just sink your hips back towards your heels. Give a good stretch on your back. Circle both wrists. Take a moment and breathe. Exhaling any tension. And then pivot back up into table position. And we'll do a little cat work. So inhale, ribs down toward the floor. Look to the front slightly, chest open. And remember, don't crunch your neck, so keep stretching through the top of your head. 
Shoulder blades towards your waist, just sinking those ribs down toward the floor, lifting the hips. Nice back bend through the whole spine. And then sitting bones tucked down and forward, head comes down, top of the head toward the floor, arching up through that spine into your forward bend. Take a moment, lifting the ribs and the spine. And then inhale back into neutral and stretch your spine. Exhale, turn and look over one shoulder back toward your feet. Take a moment, feel the ribs on that other side, stretch apart. Nice back flat as you're in that stretch. Exhale and turn back to the center, stretch apart. And exhale, look the other direction. And again, as deeply as you want into that side stretch. Take a moment and breathe. Keep the back flat and open. And again, exhale to the center. And we'll do our threading the needle twist. So take your left hand palm up, slide it through the knee and right arm, and bring your head and shoulder to the floor. Angle that elbow up toward the ceiling on that right arm. And just stay in this gentle twist if that's a good one for you. If you like more in your low back, you can bring your right foot near your left hand and push the heel away, stretching through that back of your body a little bit more through the low back. Stay on your head and shoulder, not your neck. And you can stay there or you can bring your Right hand above your shoulder to the ceiling and let it open your heart a little bit more, coming into that upper body back bend more, rolling slightly more onto the back of your head. So maximize or minimize, remember always personal practice, only the level that's right for you. Exhale any tension, stretch it apart. And then if your hand is up, bring it back down. If your leg is out, bring it back in and press into table position. Take a moment as you get back there, feeling your spine lengthening through your body and breathing. And I'm just going to turn around to do the other direction. So knees under your hips, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. Ribs are up, remember your spine is straight, stretching apart for our twist. And this time the right hand slides through, head and shoulder down, elbow on your left arm up toward the ceiling. You're on your head and shoulder, not your neck, and you're in a perfectly good twist. You can stay there. Take a breath, just relaxing. For the lower back, if you want more, the Left leg comes through your right hand and pushing out through the heel. Get a little more stretch through that low back. Stay there on your head and shoulder or bring your left hand up toward the ceiling and let it lower slightly behind you, right at shoulder level, keeping that shoulder chest area nice and open as you look up and back toward that hand. And again, remember, it gets balancy, so don't go too far. Exhale, maximizing only as far as your body needs and wants in this position today. Take a breath and just relax. And then bring your hand back to the floor if it's up, and your knee back in if it's out, and unthread your needle back into table position. Stretch your spine apart and sink your hips back. Slide your hands forward and bring your forehead down into wisdom pose, forehead to the floor. Take a moment and breathe. Get a stretch on that whole back of your body. And inhale and sit up and into staff position. Take a moment there, feeling your body. And we'll bring the feet to the end of the mat. And slowly roll to the floor. Coming out to your back. 
Relax your shoulders down. Bring your arms up to T position and palms up for our twist. Sitting bones toward your heels. Bend your right leg, foot to the left thigh. And keep your head on the floor as you roll all the way to the left side, hands together and knee all the way to the floor. Remember, the more you keep the knee on the floor, the more your low back will be in your twist. So pad if you need to. And keep your left hand on the knee and your right hand toward the ceiling right above your shoulder, lowering the back of your hand again behind you into the twist. Deepen as much as you'd like. The hand may never make it to the floor. Just let it go as far as gravity wants to bring you, allowing your spine to twist as much as your body wants, turning your head for that neck area twist as well. So the more you keep the knee down, the more that low back is in the twist. Get a little padding under you if you need to for that release. Exhale any tension, letting the ligaments release and your body relax a little deeper into the twist. Going only as far as your body is ready to do. Exhale, relaxing. And of course, hold these a longer on your own, but for now, just let go of your knee, roll onto your back and slide that foot down near the other. Get ready for our second side twist. Straighten things out, relaxing the shoulders down, sitting bones toward your heel, back gently down, left foot onto the right thigh, rolling over to the right. Keep your head down, don't overwork that neck. And again, as you get the knee down, hold it with your right hand and bring your left arm to the ceiling. Look up at it and keep that arm right at shoulder level, not down toward your foot or up toward your head, but straight back as you look at it going toward the floor. It may stay in the air, that's okay. That's your middle back going only as far as it wants and needs to go. Exhale. As you release those ligaments, it may go further or not. Depending on where your body is today, just let it happen however far it wants to go. Knee down for that low back, head turning for your neck area, and arm just releasing as much as gravity wants to bring you into that middle back twist. Deepen and breathe, just relaxing. Exhaling any tension as you're ready to go further. And of course, we need to release and roll onto our back so that we can get ready for our final relaxation. Keep hip width apart, toes slightly toward each other and then releasing, let that whole lower body relax. Hands, palms up slightly away from your sides and shoulders releasing, letting that middle back and torso release and relax as well. Soften your belly, let it sink. Roll your head side to side, let any tension release from your whole body. And as you breathe and deepen your exhalations, just sink deeper into that surface beneath you and let everything go. Deep breaths, allowing your body to deepen into that earth support. Letting awareness of any tension release. Letting any thoughts of your body release. And as those thoughts release, no other thoughts will come to you. Let them go as well. And as you breathe deeply, let your mind just drift, flowing in and out with the breath. Allowing all your attention to release your body and your mind, following that attention inward to the peace within. Fill your body and fill your mind. Take a few moments and be at peace.
And if you have time to keep relaxing today, just keep relaxing. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath to the moment, to the room, to your body. As you breathe more deeply, begin moving your body gently, however it feels good for you to do. Stretching and moving, lengthening, releasing those ankles, rolling your head side to side. And when you're ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation, bring your sitting bones toward your heels, back gently down, heels toward your hips, and knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate it. yoga today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, bring your head and feet to the floor. We'll go over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead in your world today. Thanks for joining me.